Uh oh, uh oh. You know what? I'm just gonna let one of them explode. Just so I can show you what the- UGH! <laughs> That's a dice. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders. I'm watching you through the window. That's not creepy. Uh, hope you're all having a fantastic day. Last episode, we redid this little corner. Uh, we moved our pot chamber over here because having a pot chamber is cool because we get new pots, which is great. Um, we could actually make this room slightly smaller if we really wanted to, but after all the hubbub of doing the last episode, I think it is fine how it is. Um, eventually, I would l absolutely love it if we can like redo our whole town, not necessarily in this theme, but to look better in general. But obviously that's not going to happen today. Um, I I'd like to like redecorate the area of the flag, do stuff like that. But anyway, today we're going to see what uh, Rollo wants us to fight here. Hey, my uh, by my straining shoulders, Dazza, the monsters are prepared. Burp, pardon me, preparing another assault. As I suspected, they see our town growing ever greater and become more daring and desperate in their attempts to stop it. Yet they still only attack us from the one side that has the wall and the fire-breathing statues. However, we we're, uh, we're not ready to take on their leader. We must drive these monsters back to buy some more time. Yeah, I'm ready for combat. It's gonna be easy. We don't even need healing items. It's just a case of stand behind our wall and let the wall do the job. In fact, you know what I'm gonna do quickly? Uh, where are those ladders we got last time? Ten of them. Yeah, I'll take out ten of them. Because what I want to do is I want to put them up against these buttresses. Um, <laughs> Mid-fight, apparently. Uh, obviously, we're gonna need uh, some some blocks to build on. Uh, oop, put that there. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's it. You attack me. You guys can't do anything to me. Oh, wait, that's that's a big guy. Yet, they're still not doing anything to us. Like, they're just getting crushed by our defenses. That scorpion made it through, though. Um, that's bad. Let's let's get that guy. Uh, some iron scorpions appeared. Kind of don't want to attack our, my stairs there. But now that the, the our, um, our cohorts have spotted the scorpions, um, they'll start attacking them as well. Which is a bit annoying, because they can lure them away from our defenses. But yeah. Um... This, this this defense is, is pretty good. Like, this wall will stop the charge of that guy. That guy, I think, can um, can destroy the spikes, but I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, um, oh yeah, we're not taking full damage. Ha. While he's doing that, I guess I'll, I'll do a little bit more building. Uh, just to <laughs> What a time to build, huh? Yeah, he's destroying a couple of spikes, but it's fine. We can put those back down. But he's just taking damage from spikes and from fire. Um, and from, you know what? I'm gonna do strike the finishing blow. I got touched by my by my thing. Ow! By my fires. Okay, there we go. Victory, <laughs> and we helped so much, and we obtained a green teleportal. Oh yes. Does that upgrade our banner? Oh, it does. Pretty neat. And I think also, yes, someone else joins our town. How about that? Uh, before anything else, though, I do want to quickly fix our defenses without getting hit by fire. Thank you very much. Nope, not happening, not happening, not happening. Teehee. Okay, <laughs> teehee indeed. Alright, we have a new teleportal. I can put it down and make a another teleportarium, um, which I think I would like to do, in all honesty. Oh, this warhammer is about to break. That's fine, I guess we've got another warhammer anyway. Uh, let's go see what this new person wants. Hello? Oh my, what is this wonderful place? It's so bright and warm, even though the sun is now setting. All accepting that cold look on your face, young man, or perhaps not. Your face might be cold, but I can see the fire in your eyes. You want to know what I'm doing here in this, uh, this late in the day, don't you? There's no point trying to deny it. I can read you like an open book, just like the Cantlin Chronicle, which only Rollo can read. This place looks like the perfect city, full of buildings and people and light. But the truth is, everyone who lives here seems awfully anxious. Personally, the only thing I feel exhausted from uh, is ex the only thing I feel is exhausted from walking all the way here. I hope you don't mind if I join you. My name is Cherie. I don't have any particular talent, but I'm a dab hand at being a woman of the world. This place seems nice. I've got my mallet out. I'm watching you. I think she just changes into a red dress like Pippa. I may be rock. You slammed the door on my face. I want to watch you change. Thank you very much. That's right. Oh, a blue dress. Never mind. I was wrong. Clearly, I didn't pay attention before. Um, 
yeah, so ooh, we've got lots of quests we can do. We can upgrade our town a smidge. We've got a new teleporter we can place down as well. Um, I think what I want to do... Like, that watchtower is stupid. I don't like it. I might get rid of it. Although, what I could do to open up the town a bit more and make it seem a little bit more spacious, because, you know, that's what everyone wants, is actually knock down this wall. Uh, I know this is where we're going to have a, a big old doorway coming through, so um, that is something we can we can do. Ah, the mallet fell apart. That's fine. I've got my sledgehammer. In fact, you know what? Bam. There we go. How'd you like me now? Uh, it's night time, so that means it's sleep time. Um, sleeping is good anyway, because it means that everything that people have made will go into the chests, which is great, because we can see what they've been doing now that we've got that big upgraded um, studio. Blacksmith studio, whatever it's called. Cool. There we go. Let's go take a look at that quickly. Actually, let's take a look at the food. 24 bread. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Now let's take a look at this. What we got? Really? Ten stone foundation. A block of massy masonry decided to, to build the bases of stout stone walls. Kind of looks cool, actually. Um, it's got like um, a little line at the bottom. Which is just slightly different than the rest of the stone bricks. I like it. I wish I could make it. But clearly I can't, which sucks. <laughs> I don't understand why some of these things are locked. Like, yeah, I can make stone walls, but I, why can't I make that cool new one, you know? <sighs> Maybe there's a trick that I'm missing. Like, but no, I, I don't see it anywhere. Which, yeah, it does kind of stink that I've done that, but, eh, whatever. Just means that I've only got ten of these, which I can't use on anything that I want to, which is frustrating. Um, right, teleport tool. Oh no, what was I, I was, I was clearing up this area, wasn't I? Uh, I'm gonna leave the, the watchtower. Oh, my hammer fell apart. Can I use a spin attack with my fists? No. Okay, let's quickly make another sledgehammer. Um, I guess I could upgrade the, the, the walls, which the, the thing is made out of. Um, what am I after? No, nope, don't wanna talk to Pippa. Don't wanna talk to Pippa, I wanna build, thank you. Alright, sledgehammer. Or Warhammer, even. We need... Oh, three scorpion horns again. I'm just going to make a sledgehammer. Slightly less durable than the Warhammer, but honestly, it will be fine. Uh, yeah, we'll open. I, I just wanted to go into my equipment, really. Let's equip that. Oh, I didn't even... <laughs> let's equip that one as well. Dang it, man. All right, let's use the one which is slightly worn out. Okay, so... Eventually... What I want to do is have this area, um, this, this area quite, like, open like this, I quite like it. Where is the very edge of our city? There, and, uh, there. So that is the very corner. So I will mark that so that I don't forget it. So if I want to build a wall, I would want it to be on the outside edge of that. And that would look cool. Um, okay. I could maybe move the watchtower over there and make it into something a little bit better. That might be something to consider, because I know that we don't need the watchtower and it doesn't really add to our points, but Laroc makes it makes Laroc feel safe, so maybe we'll do that. Um, private rooms. So I could move the private rooms over. If I wanted to build a wall or a building or anything, it would have to go like here. Um, which is a possibility, so we could have more rooms over here. Or we could even move rooms over there, and that way um, we could shift the rooms over and make more room for the teleportarium and have a, a triple teleportarium. Because I don't like the way that's currently set out. I wanted to have something look a little bit grander than that. Uh, but it's, it's honestly, it's fine how it is. Um, I could level this out a little bit and have this on a bit of a podium. That might look pretty neat. Uh, I don't know if I can actually place anything on top of here. I can. Okay, interesting. So maybe we can put a flower in there or something, make it look pretty. Really, I haven't got a clue what I want to do with this town. But I'll figure it out another time, I guess. Let's talk to uh, Sheridan and see what he wants. Wow, Dazza, you did an incredible job stopping all those monsters. Why, thank you. And not only that, you found the new teleportal too. Remarkable. Oh, and by the way, Laroc told me what happened. It was the golem who crushed Cantlin into dust. If that's the case, then there's no doubt about it. The monster that rules over these lands is the same golem that guarded Cantlin. Dazza, do you know what this means? 
I can help. I can finally help. After all my years of wandering, I finally found a place where I can be of use. Uh, once, during my travels, I met an inventor who taught me how to build things called Wrecking Balls. If the Golem were to activate, uh, to act, attack us, something as powerful as the Wrecking Balls would be absolutely invaluable. Let me teach you how to make them. I've never been able to build one myself, so I can't wait to see if they work. Okay. Okay. I'll build some Wrecking Balls. Eureka! Dazzle works out how to make a Wrecking Ball. Explosive steel spheres filled with a fulminatory fragments. Explodes a short time after being placed. Sounds dangerous. Alright, Sheridan wants us to build some. How many doesn't want us to build though? Um, so, in order to make the wrecking balls, we need rock bomb shards, iron ingots, and cord. First of all, before I do anything else, do I have any. Nah. <laughs> Didn't want to talk to you. Uh, yeah. oh, I was in, already in that many. Do I have any more iron ingots? I can make one more batch. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Cool. Um, right, so to get the rock bomb shards, we need to go through the green teleportal. And yeah, I know what you're saying. This looks ugly. This isn't part of the, the building. A portal to another island opens up, though. That's the important thing. Uh, let's get rid of everything else we own. In fact, let's just put it in that menu, because when we tidy it up, it all shifts anyway. There we go. Tidy it up. Lovely. Alright. No, I don't want to talk to you. I just... I just want to go through... <laughs> Enter. Enter! There we go. Alright, so through the green teleportal, we will find... these big old cliffs. We will also find... some rather annoying enemies. Um... Or not, apparently. Wait. Have I got the enemy glitch? No, there's a there's a orange slime there. Uh, anything gonna show up? There's a bunny corn. If we leave it alone, it'll leave us alone. Here we go. So these enemies here, these rocks, they will attack you normally like that. Um, and after a little while, they will start saying kaboom. Do not let them explode. Just keep attacking them. Okay, and they will drop rock bomb shards. Fantastic, right? I don't even know... Ooh, ouch! I don't even know if... Yeah, it looks like a sword is a better bet than using the... Yeah, a much better bet than using the sledgehammer. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. But yeah, basically, these things drop the rock bomb shards that we need. See, that one's asleep. Might want to sneak up on it. And... Oh, I jumped, so it didn't work. <laughs> and attack. That did, like, no damage. We're better off just doing it like this. Alright, kaboom. Yep. As long as you keep attacking it, it should be fine. There we go. We're going to need quite a lot of these rock bomb shards, so it's worth uh, just going over here and just trying to get as many as you can. I don't think there's anything special about this area. I definitely didn't find anything special about this area uh, through the green tele... You know what, buddy? Yeah, I'm going to kill you. Um, so it's, it's just, I think the only thing interesting about this area is the the rock bomb shards and these, these enemies or whatever they're called. All right, dodge that attack. And dodge that... Don't dodge that attack, it's fine. But yeah, you're better off just sort of slamming your way through them rather than trying to dodge their attacks or whatever. That's what I found anyway. Okay. If we could get like one more, then that would be cool because then we'd have six rock bomb shards. Okay, or two of them, that's fine. Um, basically, we just need a multiple to three. Alright, that one saw us. Ouch. Alright, these guys are probably going to both go kaboom at the same time. Uh oh, uh oh. You know what? I'm just gonna let one of them explode. Just so I can show you what the- UGH! <laughs> that's a dice. <laughs> so that's- that's how much damage those things can do. I didn't realize it did, like, took away that much health. Dowser, this is not your time to depart this world. That which you have lost can yet be recovered from whence you fell. Come, my child, arise once more. Oh, man. <laughs> I think, yeah, we also- Drop some items? I can't remember. I think you lose like half your items. Um, excuse me, there we go. Which is uh, a shame. <laughs> I just wanted to get like that last hit on it, but yeah. Let's go through here and pick up the items which we dropped. And then honestly, probably going to call this episode quits. Because last episode we had a bit of a long one trying to get all those... Um, or trying to finish off that area which we started to prettify. Um, so this time, yeah, we'll have a bit of a shorter episode. I say shorter episode, yet it's still going to be like 15, 16 minutes long. So, shorter than usual. 
Yeah, we can see it over there. That's where we died. My goodness. <laughs> you know, while we're here, we may as well grab some iron. No time like the, the present. Okay, so yeah, this stuff here... Oh, you can break it, but you can't collect it. Yeah, that's right. Um, oh, that guy's seen us, so... You know what? Ha, you missed me. That time you didn't miss me. Yeah, so... Oh my goodness, please, just, just get hit. There we go. Wait, what? That wasn't the kaboom? Oh my goodness, are you actually going to do anything other than roll at me? There we go. Take that, you sucker. Um, yeah, you can harvest that stuff, and it's actually really, really strong. As in, like, no enemies can defeat it, so... Uh, it might be a good thing to harvest if you really want to. And definitely make up, like, a, an impenetrable fortress around Cantlin if you want to. But it's not something that I'm interested in. I am, however, interested in getting all that sand. We have six rock bomb shards, which I think we must have dropped some. Oh well. Um, let's grab our Chimera Wings and travel back to Cantlin quickly. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Yeah, see, we're like 16 minutes in right now. Well, the recording's 16 minutes long. I think I didn't start straight away. But yeah, as you can see from that little preview there when we jumped up in the air, there's nothing really to that part of Cantlin. Like, or is it Cantlin? Yeah, Cantlin Plains, isn't it? Okay, so put everything away like a so and let's head on over to the uh, the masonry oh my goodness uh, oh oh no as you I actually want to talk to her here after all that fairy tales I've heard about the great city of Cantlin I thought it'd be a little more elegant than this there's something so terribly brutal about these thick stony walls and the streets aren't paved with gold either oh by the way Dazza what's the situation between you and that pretty young thing you know the what oh, you know the one I mean when night falls, do the two of you retire to the same room to spend some special time together? Don't worry, Dazza. Your secret's safe with me. After all, I'm a woman of the world, you know. Tee hee hee. A woman of the world. Oh my goodness. That that just made me laugh. Anyway, we can make some wrecking balls. We're going to make as many as we can. Which is 20. Oh boy. Alright, Sheridan. Here's the wrecking balls which you wanted. This is too good. That's incredible, Dazza. You made the wrecking balls just like I told you. I don't have the power to build, and neither did the man who invented them, so nobody's actually been able to build one until now. But I knew you could do it. You're the legendary builder after all. Daz, my friend, the golem is coming for us, I know it. If we defeat him, we'll bring back the light to this land, but if we fail, Cantlin will be pounded into dust once again. I hope the wrecking balls will be of some help to the final battle, and I pray to the goddess that you emerge victorious. Oh, and by the way... They say that the golem's built like a brick outhouse. If I were you, I'd build at least 20 wrecking balls before I even thought about taking him on. Yeah, you don't need 20 if you know what you're doing. Alright, let's eat the seed of life. Om nom nom. And I'm going to call it quits there, guys. Thank you all very much for watching this episode of Dragon Quest Builders. Hope you all enjoyed. And I, of course, will see you all in the next one. There's a chest up there, which I now want to get. I'll get it next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. See you all then. Bye-bye.